Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSciStudio.com, and welcome back to your fifth Java programming tutorial. So, in our other programs, they didn't do much except print stuff out. Um, we're going to be adding something called a scanner into our uh, programs, which basically allows for user input. So, a scanner is essentially something that waits for the user to input something into uh, into the program from their keyboard. So in order to make a scanner, you have to use the keyword scanner with a capital S. And then you're going to go name your scanner. So I usually name it SC. And then you're going to set it equal to a new scanner. Now you guys probably won't understand this. Um, if you haven't done object oriented programming before, this might be a little weird. It's like, why is there a new there? Why is there a scanner with brackets? Um, basically all I could say right now is that scanner is a predefined class in Java so right now we're in the YouTube tutorials class um, in Java we have a whole bunch of classes that are already made for us that we can use so we're using the scanner class and basically we're making a variable out of it and in order to use that variable we have to set it equal to new scanner with parameters and it has to say system dot in because we're inputting something right so we have to go system dot in in these brackets and you're probably wondering why we still have red underlines this is because if you click this it'll say add import for java dot util dot scanner so if you click that your red lines will go away this is basically because we have to every time we use a class we usually have to okay yeah, whenever we use a class we have to import that package so what a package is we're in the package YouTube tutorials so this is the package called Java and then there's another sub package called util and then here is our scanner class so just think of it as a bunch of folders this is the Java folder and then inside the Java folder is a util folder and then inside the util folder we have the scanner class that we're using so whenever you see a red underline make sure you click on the little light bulb that comes up here um, usually it's an import or you made a typo or something so it's just a helpful hint and like in our other tutorial we're just gonna make a variable called um, let's see we're gonna get input from the user in the form of a string so this is gonna be some text that the user is gonna input so let's say name because they're gonna input their name and usually we set it equal to something but this time we're not gonna set it equal to anything yet just end it with a semicolon so string name and then what we're going to do down here is what we're gonna, is when we're going to set it equal to something. So we're going to go name is equal to use our variable sc because we're going to be scanning in some input. So sc dot next. So as you can see, it says next, and then it says string. So that means that we're going to be inputting a string, and then end it with a semicolon. So basically, what we did here is we just set our variable equal to. Some, something that the user is going to input. And then we're just going to want to print out something. We're going to want to print out what the user inputted. So we're going to go system dot out dot print ln, or you could use print if you wanted to, it doesn't really matter. And you could say hello, and then you could go plus name. Basically, what this is, it's called concatenation. So basically, what this does is it prints out hello. And then you're adding a plus sign because you're adding on another string to another string. Um, so we're adding on name. So if they input John, it'll say, hello, John. Uh, if we run this, you'll see that nothing shows up down here. So if you click on this and you type in your name, my name's Anthony, hit enter, it'll say, hello, Anthony. So some users, if they run this program, they're going to be wondering why isn't there anything showing up so let's just put a little statement to the user saying input your name print lin and you could say please enter your name so when we run it now it'll say please enter your name enter Anthony and it'll say hello Anthony so I'm gonna go over this one more time basically what we did is we created a string called name and basically what's going to happen is the user is going to input their name into that name variable. We made a scanner 
essentially a scanner variable. It's actually called a scanner object, but you can call it a variable if you want. Um, so we use the scanner class, and we set it equal to uh, well, we made an SC of the scanner, and we set it equal to new scanner system dot in. So you guys probably this is the thing you'll probably forget. You'll probably be like, oh, what do I have to set it equal to? Um, these you guys just need to practice that. It's, it's a little tricky. And so yeah, this basically allows us to use our scanner. And then we just made a little simple prompt. And then we set our variable equal to the scanner. So whenever, this is when, um, basically what happens here is the computer waits for the user to input something into the name variable. And then basically we just printed it out. So that's about it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions again, I'll try and clarify it. Um, just personal message me and I'll see you guys next tutorial.